Oasis City kids! Welcome back to Oasis City TV! You guys ready to play a game with me? My name is Zoe, if you don't know me already. Some of you guys will. Okay, we ready? We're gonna play a game called Oasis City Scavenger Hunt. I know, original. Okay, I'm gonna give you something to find and you're gonna have a little bit of time, 20 or 30 seconds, to find it. A timer will go on the screen. Ready for round one? Sorry, could you, could you say that louder? Are you ready for round one? Very nice. Okay, round one, you need to find something that is multiple colors. Ready, set, go! And we're back. Here's what I found. It's a soft dice. Look at all the colors. Woo! Okay, you guys ready for round two? That was really fun. Let's try another one. Find me something that isn't alive, but looks like something that's alive. Tricky, huh? Ready, set, Let's do two more rounds. Find me something that makes a clicking sound. Ready, set, go. I have no idea what it's for. Someone's lights could be going on and off right now. I have no clue. Ready? Last round. Find me your cape and mask from the last week. Ready? Set? Do I look super cool? I know you guys look super cool. I can see you from here, of course. Are y'all ready for our core values? Let's go. Hi, City Kids, it's Zoe, and we're gonna do our core values. So I want y'all to jump up off your seat, do a shake it all out, get some of your energy out, because we're gonna have some fun going over our core values. Ready? What's core value number one? Sorry, I can't hear you, can you yell it? Perfect, love God. Why do we love God? Well, we love God because God is love and he first loved us. Great job, guys. Can you guys tell me number two? That's right, love people. Why do we love people? Because God loves all people, all people. Isn't that fun? Ready, what's number three? I wanna hear this one really loud. Yes! Do your best, because when we do our best, God does the rest. And here's the fourth one. I, I really like this one. Can I have you guys yell it really, really loud on the count of three? Ready? One, two, three. Have fun! Yes, we have fun because God gives us joy. Now ready? Shake it out one more time. And get ready for the rest of Oasis City Kids TV today.
Seven Sisters in! Hey everybody, I'm Sydney. And I'm Ava. And today we're coming back at you with a brand new memory verse, so let's get right into it. Today's verse is found in Ephesians 6 verse 10, so let's get started. Be strong in the Lord and His mighty power. Ephesians 6 verse 10. Now you guys are going to repeat after us. Be strong in the Lord and His mighty power. Ephesians 6 verse 10. Great job everybody. Now we're going to say it all together. But this time say it in your best superhero voice. Alright. 3, 2, 1. Be strong. In the Lord and His mighty powers. Ephesians 6 verse 10. Great job guys, that was so awesome. much fun. We can't wait to see you next time. So until then, bye! bye. Dom and sisters out! Hey guys, and happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. guys. Today, we're gonna do a Mother's Day craft, okay? We actually have a couple activities. So go into your box and find the two Mother's Day sheets. They should look like this. There's one that you can draw on. It says, my mom's picture. I love you, mom. Perfect, so you can draw your mom in there or draw a picture for her. Then we have a little sheet that you can fill out about your mom. So there's those. Um, and you can set them aside and do them after. But right now, we're gonna make your mom a card, okay? So here's what you'll need. I'm gonna just put those right here. All right, first of all, you need the number three bag, okay? And in your number three bag, everybody should have a foam or piece of paper of some kind that's colored, little rectangle, and oh, one minute. There we go. And two little googly eyes. Fun, okay, so that's in your bag. For this craft, you'll also need your orange sheet of construction paper. Okay, so that's what you need out of your kit, bag three, and your orange construction paper. You also need a pair of scissors, some glue, and something to write with, okay? So you go get all that stuff, and I'll go get mine. All right, you got everything? Good, I think I have everything right here. So, we are going to start by taking your paper and folding it in half, okay? So, take your time. There we go. We're gonna fold it in half this way, okay? Uh, now, we're gonna trace our hand onto the paper. So, this is important. You want to put your hand on the paper, the hand that you're gonna trace, but you want your wrist to be on the side of the paper that's folded, okay? So I'm gonna put my paper down like that. The folded side is down here, and I'm gonna put the hand I'm gonna trace, actually I'll trace my left hand. I'm gonna put my hand so that my wrist is on the folded part. Sounds good? Okay, now we're gonna take our pen, or crayon, or whatever you got, and we are going to trace our hand. Take your time. Okay, I didn't do so great on the thumb, but that's fine. My hand didn't really fit on the paper. How about you guys? All right, you done tracing? Awesome. If you need more time, don't worry. You can always go back and rewatch this video on YouTube after, okay? So take your time. This is a nice card. We don't want to rush it. All right, so now that you have your hand drawn, we're going to cut it out, all right? So we're going to take our scissors. And we're going to keep the paper folded, but we're going to cut our hand out very carefully.
Okay, so I got my hand cut out and it's still folded. So now that's our, <laughs> that's our little card, okay? Now we're gonna decorate it. This is where the fun comes in, okay? So we're gonna put our scissors on our glue side. Okay, so you're gonna put your hand upside down like this, okay? That's the way the card's gonna go. Then we're gonna take our, our rectangle paper or foam or whatever you have in your bag um, and we're gonna glue it onto the hand. So I'll show you where to glue it. We're gonna glue it right on the front. So I'm gonna put some glue on here and we're gonna put it about there, above the thumb, right there. Awesome, okay. Next, we're going to take our scissors and we're gonna cut it, we're gonna cut the end just like this. Kinda just cut a little triangle off the end. And we'll see why, it's gonna look cool. Okay, then we're gonna get our googly eyes. Hopefully you still have both of them. They're very easy to lose. We're gonna put some glue on them and we're gonna put them on our card, just like that. And then we're gonna draw a little smiley face right underneath. So there's our superhero hand card. How cute is that? Okay, so now you guys can write a message inside to your mom. Like, mom, you're my superhero. Happy Mother's Day, or I love you so much. You are super great, okay? Have fun with that. Is that Ronnie McChicken? Yes, that is Ronnie McChicken. And welcome to City Kids TV. So you guys want to hear a joke? Of course we do. Okay. What did the mother look say to her child? Don't be naughty! <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a good one. Oh, you guys want to hear another one? Yep. What did the digital clock say to its mom? Look, mom! No hands! <laughs> <laughs> that was such a good one. I like these jokes. We are going to highlight some of you who use your superpower of obedience. So, it was today, one of our guys were Samuel, Lillian, and Isaac loaded the dishwasher. And their parents didn't even have to put anything in there. We also have experienced Blake, Marley, and Easton using their superpower of obedience, following along in a lesson carefully. Way to go! Last, we have a video of Benjamin and Ela using their superpower of obedience at its very strongest. Super quick at the first time they were asked. This is a lesson to all of us. To our superpower of obedience. Why don't you do a superpower of lies? Obedience, Ela. Okay, clean up. Awesome. You guys are so obedient. <laughs> Just because this is Mother's Day, well, I have one last joke for you guys. What, what drink helps moms relax on Mother's Day? Calm wild tea. <laughs> <laughs> and now, don't forget to use your next power on, and send it in to Sandy Kids. And we will maybe put it on the show. Bye. Hey everyone, I am glad that you're here today and I'm super glad to have church together. This week we have a very special, very unique superpower to learn about. And I think that this week might be my favorite superpower yet. Are you ready? 
my superpower is serving. Now, I'm not talking about serving like a waitress or a waiter. Here's your water. Who needs some more spaghetti? No, you don't have to go out and get a job as a waiter to have this superpower. Mm -hmm. This is a different kind of serving. It's doing things that bless others just because and putting others first. The Bible actually has a lot of great examples of people serving. Do you know who the greatest example of all servants is? Jesus. Look at this verse in Mark 10. It says, for even the son of man, that's Jesus, did not come expecting to be served by everybody, but to serve everyone and to give his life in exchange for the salvation of many. So this is telling us that Jesus, the son of God, didn't come to be served, but to serve others. Jesus, the king of kings, who people should have praised and served just for who he is, stepped down and served us. Isn't that amazing? There's a story in the Bible about Jesus serving his disciples in a very special and kind of unique way. He was washing their feet. Hey kids, hey Mr. Rob, what hey. are you doing? Well, I was just about to, to read a Bible story. Ooh, can I listen too? I love Bible stories. Don't you guys love Bible stories? They're my favorite. Absolutely, I'm about to tell the story about how Jesus was washing his disciples' feet. So it is right here. That was strange, I don't know where she went. Anyway, so Jesus was washing his disciples' feet and while he, whoa, why are my feet wet? Darla, what are you doing? I'm washing your feet. Don't you guys think I need to wash Mr. Rob's feet? No, you don't need to wash my feet. I, I don't? No, no, I appreciate it though. You don't need to do that, we're friends. Okay, now listen, I'm just gonna read it. You don't need to act it out. So Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. While they were there, they gathered for one final meal together. Okay, anyway. What'd they eat? Uh, they ate uh, uh, all sorts of different types of food. Like bread? Yeah, like- Here you go. Oh, 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 thanks. I'll take it. Uh, wait, what, what's this for? Story immersion. Uh, okay. So anyway, during the meal, Jesus got up and started to wash his disciples' feet. Now think about it. Back then, people wore sandals and would walk everywhere. They would walk up and down these long dirt roads. Uh, what, what, what are you doing? What is this? Story immersion. Wait, no. <laughs> okay, dirt. Okay, so these long dirt roads were not only walked on by animals, but also camels and donkeys and all sorts of other animals. These roads were pretty dirty and... Dirty with what? Dirt and they were, uh, they were, um, animal stuff. Like they throw their trash everywhere? That's littering. Don't litter, kids. No, 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 no. Uh, not litter. Uh, when the animal goes... Go? They... On a trip? Like to the zoo? No, like they go to the banyo, to the bathroom. <sighs> yeah, that's gross. On the road. Animals, yeah. So, like I said, these roads were pretty dirty. So when Jesus told his disciples he was going to wash their feet, it was a big deal because of all that they were walking through. Ooh. But back then, that job, that dirty job, was for the servant. It wasn't for something that the creator of the world would do or a king would do. It was for the servant, the lowest. Wow. So what Jesus was doing was serving. He was showing them how to really serve. And we have that superpower too? Yes, we have that superpower to serve too. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go practice my superpower right now. I'm gonna go see if my mom needs help with anything around the house. Wow, that is such a good idea. You know what, I'm sure you're gonna be a huge help to your mom. Hey, I'll see you later, Super Darla. Okay, so you guys, you have the superpower of serving. You get to choose to follow Jesus's example and have the heart of a servant. It is such a powerful thing to serve. So what does that look like for us? How can we use our superpower of serving to help others? Well, it can look like um, picking up your toys instead of leaving them all around the house. That would be a huge help, I'm sure, and blessing to your family. It could look like um, taking out the trash before anyone even asks you to. 
It could be helping uh, your younger brother, now listen to me, your younger brother or sister understand their homework or letting them choose what TV show to watch. Ooh, that's a big one. There are a lot of ways that you can serve. Would you guys pray with me right now? Let's ask Jesus to help us think of some ways that we can serve others this week. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for your example of serving. Thank you that you came to show us how to serve and not to be served. Would you help us to have a servant's heart just like you? Help us to think of ways this week that we could use our superpower of serving to help others around us. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I am so glad that we all have the superpower of serving, and I'm so excited to use mine this week. But most of all, I am thankful that Jesus came down to earth to serve others so that we could all learn how to serve. How cool is that? Okay, before you go, I want to do something really special, okay? If you have never given your heart to Jesus and you would like to become a follower of Him today, I would love to give you that opportunity right now. So if you want to make that decision, turn to your mom or dad and say, Mom, Dad, I believe in Jesus and I want to give my heart to Him today. So I'm going to pray for you guys right now as you make that decision so you can close your eyes and pray along with me. Jesus. Thank you that you came down to earth to serve others. Thank you for dying for me on the cross so that I could have a relationship with you. I pray that you would come live in my heart and that you would show me how to serve others and how to put others first. I love you so much. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, congratulations. You just made the most important decision of your life. And for the rest of you, I pray that you would all choose to follow Jesus' example and choose to have a serving heart. And I pray that we will all find opportunities this week to bless others with our superpower of serving. Amen.